All right, and welcome back. So um, let's introduce a weapon uh, based on the interactable and enable the characters to be able to pick this up. So um, like we did for the chair and door and sphere, uh, we will create a new child blueprint class on, based on this and we will call this a weapon. Well, this is going to be the base class for weapons, uh, and the reason for this is that um, a weapon can have something like, uh, it besides the, the weapon itself, it can have some uh, part like uh, a magazine. So, for this uh, blueprint I will add um, another static mesh, like this. I will just call it the magazine. All right, so, um, and once we have done that, uh, save and close, um, I will create a new weapon, uh, specifically, uh, it will be the M4A1 uh, rifle, and I should probably make a folder for this, let's make a folder, M4A1. Uh, a rifle like this and we'll put this where did it go? here move so we have our rifle here and this is just a blueprint and we need a mesh for this so uh, I have a mesh ready somewhere uh, import uh, I have some models this one and I already prepared, prepared these in uh, in uh, 3D Studio Max. This is a magazine and if I just undo all of this um, you see this is a rifle and I can I've just isolated the different parts of this. Alright so um, I have these two um, no not that one uh, what did it go? Alright, anyway, I uh, want the, the magazine, uh, the rifle and the magazine. So let's import these. And I'll just leave everything as is. Um, import all. There we go. So now I have the, the two um, rifle parts. And right now they don't have any, they have some default um, 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 textures, I think because I messed something up somewhere along the way, but it doesn't really matter. It just will show how it works anyway. So let's click inside the uh, the rifle. And on the static mesh, I want to select the the rifle, the M4A1, excluding the Mac. So that will look like this. Uh, pretty cool, I think. And for the magazine, we'll choose the magazine static mesh like this and it just happens to that they uh, line up perfectly so I don't need to reposition anything um, before I do anything more I will just compile and save um, and I will just rename these just so I it's clear this is a static mesh and this is also a static mesh like this right so back inside the the M4E1 rifle blueprint. Um, let's see. Um, something we need to just quickly fix is the um, collision sphere. Yeah, let's just position this in the middle somewhere and then scale it up a little bit. So something like 555, five, five, I think, would be okay. So it looks pretty good. Alright, and save like this. So, now we're ready to dump a rifle on the floor. Oh, it's kind of hard to see. <laughs> um, Alright, so let's drag it up a little bit. Uh, let's turn it on its side and put it in a kind of casual way and drop it to the floor. Alright, so now we have a rifle. Let's go see if it lights up. It does. And that's good. That's a really good start. Actually, one funny thing is that you can see the um, 
the magazine is not being highlighted. That's because it's only the the post processing is only being set on the static mesh. And if we wanted to, we could also set it on any other uh, static mesh components inside uh, an axis, but I haven't really bothered about uh, changing that. So, just a fun fact. Let's see what we can do with this. Um, right. Um, let's take a look at all our interactables. Um, our interactables are things we can interact with and uh, they have different uh, properties and we don't have anything kind of to to signify what an interactable what category they belong to so I think it would be a good idea to introduce something like uh, like a struct or something to keep this information so Let's go under blueprints and create um, a structure and then call this, uh, um, let's call it interactable, oh, let's call it interactable info. Yeah, I think that's a good, a good name, whoops, Great. right, so um, specifically for the weapon, um, we have several options here because we can uh, a weapon uh, needs to go inside uh, into a hand. So actually, before we go any further with this, uh, let's take a break and we continue afterwards. I think that's a better idea. So uh, stay tuned, and I'll be back in a sec. <laughs> 